you're the best in the world at what you do, it can have a way of defining who you are. The prism through which you're seen is narrow by nature, examining so many variables as they relate to just one. But no matter the person, there's always a place where they're viewed differently. For Sidney Crosby, that place is Cole Harbor, Nova Scotia. Just as he does every summer, Crosby returned home, where he's no more a hockey player than a son, brother, friend, philanthropist, and hockey school instructor. This is a first-person account of a kid named Sidney in the town that helped him become Sid the Kid. I like being on the water. It's just nice and quiet out here. The first year after I came back from Pittsburgh, I lived at home. And then the following summer, I got this place. You know, there's no place like home. It's great just to come back here and recharge a bit. Good afternoon. My name's Gord Miller. I'm a hockey announcer at TSN, and I'm very proud to be here in Cole Harbor with you at the Sydney Crosby Hockey School. Would you like to meet our guests? Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Cole Harbor's own Sydney Crosby and Nathan McKinnon. Hey, guys. This is a question from Brady Tucktoo. Where are you, Brady? You here? Hey, Brady. Good question. Who was your favorite hockey player when you were a kid? Mine was Steve Eiserman. Obviously a winner. All, all the moms, eh? Yeah. <laughs> he seemed to be a great leader and um, just someone that, uh, that I always looked up to. <laughs> Growing up in Cole Harbor, a small town 23 kilometers east of Halifax, Sidney Crosby was just one of the 25,000 residents. And now, despite being the one that those 25,000 look up to, it's still where he is most comfortable. There's a reason why I love coming back here. It's because of my friends, it's because of my family, it's because of this place right here. I think there's just a big sense of pride as far as the hockey community goes. It's a tight-knit group and here's a lot of people committed to helping kids and I think that brings you together and everyone stays in touch and everyone's kind of got that bond through hockey or sports somewhat. It's a great setup and it was a great place to grow up. He's a great role model, he's a great big brother, so it's really cool to be able to experience this with him. You could have a Sydney Crosby camp in Pittsburgh, you could have it somewhere else, but I think having it here kind of brings everyone together. That's what makes it so special, that it is in Cole Harbor. As far as I'm concerned, if you're going to have you know, something like this, you do your best to be involved as much as possible. When I can be here and be out there teaching or spend some time with kids off the ice, that's really important to me. Did what's it like to come home to Cole Harbor and... It's great. You know, it's everything I could have imagined. The kids are having a great time, and it's fun out there, you know, being on the ice, the energy that they have. They're really having a blast. If they can take something away from this camp, then, then we've done our job. Looking into the middle, looking into the middle. There you go. Good lean, good lean. When you pass, try to fool me. Try to look at somebody else. Try to... And then pass to another Exactly. Where are you looking? Over here? Over here. I'm coming. <laughs> What's important for being a good leader? Be respectful. Respectful, right? Logan, yeah. Sportsmanship. Olivia, being a team player. Exactly, those are some. Nick, you're flying, buddy. Huh? You're flying. I almost hit you with a puck. You still got around it. How's it going today? All right. Groins aren't too sore. Legs feel good? Good. This is the youngest group here, right? <laughs> this is, yeah. You can tell. It's like herd and sheep. How'd the crossovers go? Yeah? They look good. You guys look like you're flying around the circle pretty good. Let's have some fun, guys. Curls. Wow, good crossovers, girls. 
What do girls like to be called? Are they okay if they say guys? Yeah, guys. It's okay? Yeah, that's good. Right. I catch myself. Hi, right, you guys are listening to Johnny? Johnny was my first captain. Yeah, we played together. He was my first captain. Oh! Why don't they need two three forwards against you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I could handle that. You guys would be all over me. Oh! Rebound, rebound, rebound! Good save. Yep. Oh, yeah, I'll be here. What do you guys have this afternoon? Huh? Signing. Okay, I'm with you guys. And swimming. That's a pretty good afternoon. Jeez. There we go. All right, see you, buddy. Whether it was a camper or member of the staff, Sidney Crosby made time for everyone. Fiona, you're the goalie. You're a big Carey Price fan, right? That's what you were saying? What about Mark Andre? You have to like him, too. He's good. He's good. Thanks for making the camp. Sure. I'm glad you had a good time. Thanks for coming all this way. It's a medal from Vancouver and Stanley Cup ring if you want to take a look at that. Yeah. Wanna hold it? Oh, it's heavy. Yeah, huh? I'm going to the first game of the season. You are? Yeah. Oh that's right, you were telling me that on the ice. Cool. Hope you have a great time there. Hope we get a win for you. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, what's up, buddy? Uh, right sure can. Is that gonna sweat right off, you think, or are you gonna stay on there? You work pretty hard. I think I think you might sweat right through it. So where are you from, Kippy? <laughs> How's camp going? I'm from the same place. <laughs> nice to meet you. And I'm a big fan. Get in here, Kippy. Kippy. Yeah. Can I pass? <laughs> no. There you go. He's our boy. <laughs> We had a great time in Prague in May at the World Hockey Championship. Canada won the gold medal with a perfect record. <laughs> Sydney joined the Triple Gold Club. The Triple Gold Club is win the Olympic gold medal, win the Stanley Cup, and win the World Championship. He's the 26th player in history to do it. But the first who was a captain of a World Championship Olympic gold medal winning team and a Stanley Cup winning team. The only player in the world. <laughs> but I think the neatest part of the whole thing is that you two guys played together for the first time. How was that? It was uh, a lot of fun to play with Nate. I've been training with him for a couple of years and to have the opportunity to, to play for Team Canada together, coming from uh, Cole Harbour, um, kind of following a similar path. I think uh, it was really special and it makes it better when you win. So um, I had a blast. Yeah, it was good. I, I took Sid in my way. Sid had help from his wingman all week. And whether they were coaching kids or training together, the span of their competitiveness knew no bounds. Hey, you guys having fun? Yeah. It's good, eh? Move, move. Oh, nice, nice move. Oh, yeah. This is a big deal, and he did everything right off the ice, and obviously the best player in the world, so it's hard not to like him. We're pretty uh, of opposite personalities, so we kind of level each other out. But we have fun together. Who got the stick tap? I just started it. It's gonna be a race. Oh, put that in. Okay, let's go. Next two go, next two. Come on. Let's go back. Let's go. Yeah. They won. <laughs> Another win. We're gonna try again though. Let's win this one, okay? Move, move, move. Get it, get it. No, you gotta get the puck. Yeah. Big win, guys. Listen, we have to win. Oh. Let's go, let's go. Go, go, go. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Who won? I won, of course. Of course, man. Yeah, I'll be here every day, man. Yeah, I'll be around. Good job, guys. Good effort. Being able to train with Nate, he's one of the fastest guys in the NHL, so. Having that opportunity to go against him uh, off the ice and on the ice, uh, hopefully he'll, he'll keep me fast. Ooh. 
really want to try to get those contacts in. Why am I keep doing that? I keep going left. I'm gonna try to go right, hopefully straight. There you go. There it is. You looked a little quicker than Sid on that one. Yeah, that was pretty obvious to see. That's the trainer too. Sid's gonna start in that line, Nate, you start on this side. Karaoke. What happens if I just pull up right in the middle for a quick contact? And then... <laughs> huh? I'm good with it. <laughs> Go. Go. Alright, say Nate. Lexi says a draw, I say sit on that side. <laughs> Roll outside the line, hit it here. Okay, you got karaoke all the way to this side. Turn and excel. All right, boys, this is a one time tiebreaker. One set. What are you waiting for? Go! He's always mad at me, dude. Right, boys, so am I, though. So, I know my day will come, too. Next week, I'll probably lose and do the exact same thing. I think it's good for us once or twice a week, maybe. You know, you want to make sure you're doing things right and well, and sometimes when you're racing or in competition, you don't always do that. So I really enjoy this kind of stuff. I feel like it carries over for me. If I feel good doing this, usually I know that once I start skating a bit more that, uh, you know, it's going to transfer over pretty good. It's whatever makes you confident, whatever gets you into the right form come training camp. So this is just things that I like to do. What's your favorite pre-game meal? It's gotta be spaghetti for everybody, no? <laughs> oh. Hey. You play 82 regular season games. The playoffs eat spaghetti every time. The one o'clock games at 10 o'clock in the morning eating spaghetti. It's not fun, is it? Huh? I do it though. Spaghetti before every game. I don't know about What else? Ch chicken breast, anything else? Like nothing? Just spaghetti. Yeah. Sauce? sauce? Yeah, sauce. Yeah. Sauce. Yeah, I don't know chicken though. No. You wild man, you. Oh, chicken. I, I, always, I always knew Nathan was a crazy man. <laughs> hey. I had chicken. <laughs> I love the routine. I think you, you crave that as a hockey player. You don't really know the days of the week or the date. It's just a game day or not a game day. And I think you start to crave that you know, as camp starts to get closer. And for me, that's obviously the case. I'm excited to get back and get things started. Every year you lose guys from the year before, you bring in new ones and you have to learn as a group, you know, once again and I think that never gets old. The energy that the new guys bring is really important. Everyone who comes is always excited to come to Pittsburgh. They know that they're going to have a chance to win and it's up to us as a group to come together and, you know, give ourselves that opportunity. We need to make sure that we're not just spending one round in the playoffs and moving on. And don't get me wrong, it's not easy getting there. It's one thing just to get there, and obviously we've done a good job of that, so we need to elevate our play once we do get there. I started doing that the year we lost Detroit. It's been a little more of a gap than I would like. It's good motivation for sure. Got my buddies that I play with in junior. Eric Nielsen's in the middle. Still playing in American Hockey League right now. And on the bottom is Eric Tromblay playing in Moose Group, and he's uh, a teacher now in Ottawa, but uh, played at St. Thomas. Daryl's kind of stuck with a lot of those guys for a while, so that's all I know with them. It'd be weird for them to call me Sid. I would probably be surprised to hear that around them, but if there's ever anybody named Daryl around, I definitely look around a bit when I hear that. He started calling Satsi Daryl a little bit at one point, so that was a little fun. It's nice sometimes just to like train, you know, you're not waiting for stuff at the gym or anything like that, so it's it's good. Where's your training at at this point? And you know, I know you're working out with Nate, so how's that been going? We're lucky to have a good chunk of guys here that are playing in the NHL and training together, so it makes for, for some good skates and, you know, makes it easier to get ready for the season. You 
look like an absolute animal. <laughs> How you doing, man? Good to see you. That's on the deal, bro. Ready? Stick that. You guys start at the bottom here. Full figure eight, and you take your shot. Okay, those of you guys that don't know, this is Donald friend. If you guys don't understand what he's saying, I can translate for <laughs> Hey, do you guys understand what you do? Go, go, go. Same thing backwards, guys. Go ahead. Okay, I got it. Everything's backwards? I'm a visual guy, you know? You're the only one who can understand me, so. <laughs> I'm used to French coaches, okay. man. <laughs> Stand back and down. Translation's a little tough right now. How many times is Daryl gonna hear that sound today? Quick release! Is that how it works? I like this jump. Hey, cheese, baby, cheese! How about the mustard on that thing? Nice filler, nice filler. Just get a shot on this bum. I led you a little bit too much, Seller. Hey, the boys only would have knew about our chemistry. Yeah, that's right. One more for clean sweep here, right? Might as well. Yeah. I know you have a lot of great memories in this barn, but so watch one more. That's game. This is for you, Sid, from Isaac Rutledge. Isaac Rutledge, where are you? Hey, hey, Isaac. Now, this is sort of a legendary story about you. So how old were you when you had to stop shooting on the dryer? I think a lot of people think that I used to shoot in the dryer, which isn't true. I don't know how that started, but it wasn't for me. It was banged up so much because it was behind the nut that I shot at. So I miss the nut a lot. Um, <laughs> This story isn't nearly as heartwarming as shooting in the dryer, I gotta tell you. Yeah, so I don't know what age, but uh, I definitely remember the first couple times I hit it. My mom will tell you she was not happy, but uh, pretty fortunate to have an understanding mother that was okay using a dryer with no buttons left on it. <laughs> When I think about it, I guess the best way to describe it is just being comfortable. It's really enjoyable to come back here and see everyone. Home is home, so it's nice to be back during the summer. You know, definitely living on a lake, you tend to get out and fish a bit. I started paddle boarding in the summer, which I really enjoy. I like to be pretty active. I don't know if I'm ever just sitting still. What do we got here? Oh, they're working on my shooting pad. They're just adding some stuff to it. It's starting to get a little warped. What's going on? How's it going? Putting you to work? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's Stand great. On. Good, really good. Yeah. yeah. Kids are having a good time, and we haven't lost anyone yet. Everyone's still in the building, so it's good with that many running around. You know? Imagine the stands are full. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's been good. Like a, All right. Didn't get your boats out yet? No. I've been just, I've been on the go on the wedding tour all summer. You guys see the eagle up there? See it in the tree? Come over here, you can see it pretty good. They're massive, man. This is a little fishing spot I go to. Pretty nice, eh? The nice thing about being Sidney Crosby has nothing to do with what he's accomplished, but rather how he's done so. They say it takes a village to raise a man, and you'd be hard-pressed to find a better village than the one 23 kilometers east of Halifax. Many people from Coal Harbor never leave. That's what makes it so enjoyable to return. The same parents that were at Crosby's practices as a kid volunteered their time now at his hockey school. The first teammates he ever had were the instructors. His peewee coach is still the peewee coach. It's that bond, that camaraderie, that's helped Sidney Crosby accomplish all he has and why he made it his mission to give back to the town and the people that gave him so much. Do you guys remember learning about leadership earlier in the week? Yeah. What were some of the things you learned about a good leader? What does a good leader have? Respect, Respect right? Morgan? 
Sportsmanship, Connor. Yeah, never given up, you're right. So some of the instructors, we came up with some different things here. Leadership, a positive attitude, hard work, respect, dedication, and a team player. It was hard to just pick one person. Everyone did a great job, but we came up with someone here that did a great job all week, Roman Basque. Good job, Roman. Good job. Thank you, sir. Good job. Great time. Thank good you job, guys. Week. Good week. Malcolm, good Connor, week. good job. Evan. Good job, Jack. Good job, guys. Good job. Congratulations. Thank you. 28. Yeah. 28. Thank you. Thanks, Raina. Tired, Mace? Yeah, me too. Good week, though. Good week. The week of the inaugural Sidney Crosby Hockey School culminated in the namesake's 28th birthday. Reason enough to reflect and celebrate with numerous friends and family members who helped shape the hockey school and the person in the town they call home. thinking about the next game, the next practice, what can I do better, that kind of thing. So I feel like here I'm able to kind of get away from that a little bit, get out of my own head and just kind of enjoy everything around me here. And to know that you've had a good couple months here to recharge and it definitely helps when the season starts to get tough. You know, there's no place like home and being back here is just, it's just special. That being said, I'm not gonna lie, come, come August, I'm probably not reflecting too much. I'm thinking about, you know, what's coming up. So. Uh, I enjoy it here, but um, when hockey season starts to roll around, I'm, I'm ready to get out of here and get back in the ring. For about five seconds, there was a hummingbird this close. Oh, yeah? It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. We got, like, a boat coming, too. You get, maybe you should get them. <laughs> Just full, uh, there's a full pontoon boat coming. Of course. Hey, like, like out here, when would you hear a dump truck? Cannonball! Yeah. <laughs>